And so we continue. Pretty obvious what you gotta do is does that. I'm doing it like in a clunk motion. It's making more clocks. So just fucking attack it with these damn fat ass clocks, the big ones. There you go, dude. Rinse and repeat, huh? Easy. Uh oh. Come on. Shit. I figured he's doing it in a fucking circular motion, dude. Fuck you guys. Still good, dude. Oh god! Oh, <laughs> bullshit, dude. had such a hard time with that one.
checkers or anything, did you? Any active... Let me know when the hiss are gone. I miss my desk. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Fucking swan, swan thingy, dude. Oh, what's this? Get well soon, balloon. Now ah, this really is, feels like SCP, dude. Water jug. Five gallon water, water. Crowbar. here he might be nearby or maybe the hiss got to him i don't know jesse listen dylan's here with us he just walked in he says he is giving himself up he's been affected by the hiss but, but he is different than the others we must isolate him i'm on my way we need to get back I have to see my brother.
Trench was part of the same shadowy group that was responsible for every I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My own ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the Hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the Hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay Hiss. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Oh, fucking lab coats, man. Love making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. 
Yo, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? You're security, right? Do you work with Rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most Rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends the Rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. The lab coats my black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? <laughs> Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the Hiss signal I can arrange. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the Hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems... More in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. 
I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Please to stop be that. true. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in, you've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trunch took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a pause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. Pioneer worms of tin, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Your regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. You are a worm through time. But then there's the I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. 
I was back in ordinary before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child, a girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are a worm through time. The others will distort you. Happiness comes by birds to yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror of the eye. Why have we dissected that freak mutation we locked up? I can learn so much from this physiology. Just found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight. A, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's uh, a place of power, an ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. 
It's unstable. Shifting. Note. For more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the bureau as a whole Things had gone differently in ordinary for us. Wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding uh, the projector so will. Coming together in this one case, uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. Right, the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. By the way, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. It's completely different circumstances here.
So before I forget, let's go back to that. Because I thought that was the uh, um, refrigerator I saw that was paused. But it wasn't the fridge, it was his holding cell. So where the hell is this guy? So what do I talk to him? Now? Eyes open, fellas. Keep them off. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and... I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. Salvador was dangerous, but no. Why listen to Lynn? There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's- Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. like the board, but I can't understand it. The 
Fooch seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? Sudden stop hits theaters tonight. How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. <sighs> Poor Philip. He never did like fridge duty. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye, wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Frosted Christmas tree, dude. Oh, there's that baby carrot. Ooh. Shit's coming out of it, dude. This one's closed. I wonder where the hell this thing is. Maybe it's in the archives. Whatever, it's a new place.
Can't fool me with your bullshit glowiness, dude. Is that a fucking thing? Oh my god. Throw the fucking chair at this bitch. That thing, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Sometimes it's just like, or something else. More fucking stuff, dude. I think I need to be here, dude. This is ridiculous. Alright, that's enough. I know this is like extra and I don't have to do this, but I kind of want to just because, dude. It's another way right there. I just keep going up this way? Doing that trick? Hey! Is this the thing that I've been doing? The hell? Why is the anchor here? Do they like immediately contain the shit when I... Sniper rifle and it's a fucking rocket launcher this whole time. Four units. Right. Shit we've seen before, dude. No one just wanna keep going up. Is 
that the P6L over there? How do I keep going up? Because I want to, dude. Oh my god, look at that. So close. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Oh, come on. It doesn't work that way. Is that the roof, dude? Is that maximum? What the fuck is this? This thing I'm supposed to find, dude. I want to keep going up there. <laughs> I want to go above and beyond. Can I? Can I do it this way? No. This is the max height. So now we know. Alright. At least we know now. So those are just pretending. Fuck me, dude. contain the traffic light that I'd have no fucking idea where it is. So let's just keep going and checking everywhere. <laughs> like each floor. Wait a second. It's over here. Oh, it's just a hidden location, that's all. Oh yeah? I used to know where fiction ends and reality begins. Oh, Alan Wake? <laughs> Here, they're in the same. That's funny, dude. <laughs> if it is Alan Wake, dude. Alan Wake. Bright Falls. That's funny, dude. It's a hideous trap. My every thought made real. Fear, desire. How can I ever know for sure I've escaped and not just lost in my own fantasy of it? That thought alone can drive you insane. That's pretty fucking sick, dude. I should play the fucking... Play on. Like, what is that? Thermos? What does it say? I wish I knew all these things, dude. I was trying to find the fucking... The fucking traffic light, but I have no idea where it is, so... Each time here, I will just go and go one floor down every single time. So I started on five, now we're on four. There's nothing over there. Grab this thing. Grab this thing. Oh, 
Oh my god. Where the fuck is this street lamp, dude? God damn it. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Who's this? I hope we can say I'm a friend. Listen, you creep. It's not your money we want. It's your ass. <laughs> <laughs> 